peeps, it's Julian here from Disrupt Tutoring, and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. We are on to question number 4, 4.1, from the 2017 Paper 1, Maths Lit, and this question deals with map reading. Okay, so they said that Annexure B shows the route and information regarding the 42,2 2017 Cape Town Marathon. So here is the map that they're referring to. So we'll be using this map to answer the questions in 4.1. So 4.1.1 ask us to name the type of scale used for the map route. So if we look at the map, they've given us the scale over here. And we can see that it's two kilometers. This is known as a bar scale, sometimes referred to as a scale bar, um, even linear scale is acceptable or graphical scale. So going back, as I said, this is a, uh, a bar scale. Um, and, but as I said, like even, so like, or a linear scale is also acceptable. And yeah, so just saying one, you only have to say one of them, you'll get your two marks. So bar scale, as I said, you could also say graphical scale or scaled bar. Okay, 4.1.2 is asking us now to write down the type of view represented in the map. So you can see that this map is from above. It's giving a sort of bird's eye view. So anything like that. So you can say top view is an acceptable answer. Um, as I said, like even bird's eye view um, is an acceptable answer. Um, so just saying one of these. So again, here's your two marks for saying you could also say satellite view or aerial view. Those are also acceptable, but top view is more than enough. Moving on to 4.1.3 okay, is name the general direction of Hrutusteer Hospital, which is tourist attraction 10, from starting point of the marathon. So if we go look back at our map, we can see that the starting point is over here and the hospital is number 10 which we look which is over here they've given us that the direction of north is over here so this is a little bit of a trick is that we can't assume that north is just pointing up or north is actually at a slight angle like that so from the starting point, we know that north is up there. So our compass then will remember that it's northeast, then south and west. So from here to here, so it's, it's in this general direction. So it will be like that on the compass, right? You can see that from the start to the the hospital so this is if this is north uh, it's this is east and south we can see that this direction is in between north and south so it's going to be southeast so we go back to our answers the quest the answer will be south east okay next is 4.1.4 Determine the exact amount number of medical help points that are located on the route. So if we go back to this map, we see here in the key, this is medical help. It looks like a little cross. So on the map, I find that there's one over there, there's one over there, there's one over there, there's one over there, and there's one over there. That's all the ones that I can see. So it's one two three four five so that's the answer 
simply 5. Then moving on to, I'll do it over here, 4.1.5. Identify the suburbs in the vicinity of the halfway mark. So remember that this is a 42 kilometer race. So the halfway mark will be at about 21 kilometers. So if we look at the route over here, this is the mark of the 20 kilometer mark. So 21 because 25 is about there. So 21 is going to be somewhere there. And you can see that the suburb is Marlborough and Observatory. So those are the two suburbs. So going back to your answer sheet, the answer is Marlborough and Observatory. And then on to 4.1.6, the last question. It says, identify the tourist attraction indicated on the map between the 15 kilometer and 20 kilometer mark. So we go back to the map. We can see that, as I said, here's the 20 kilometer mark. The 15 kilometer mark is over here. So we know that on the route, it goes past number five, number six, and number four. So those are the three tourist attractions. And then reading off the map, so it's Castle de Gutehoop, 5 is the Old Biscuit Mill, and 6 is the Planetarium. So going back, we know that it's the castle is the first one. Castle Gutehoop. And then it's uh, Old Biscuit Mill. And finally, it's the planetarium. And that concludes this question. Before I go, I just want to give a special thanks to our Epic sponsors for making this video possible. Read all about them in the description below. Be sure to visit our website for more of these Epic tutorials. Remember, if you can't find the answer to your question, send us your question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for until next time, stay epic.